In order to simplify or evaluate the given expression, we'll need to follow the order of operations. So we'll have to simplify inside the parentheses first, which means we'll have to perform the subtraction here. Now if you can look at this and recognize that negative eight minus six is equal to negative fourteen, that's great. But if you can't, it might be helpful to write this as an addition problem. Remember, subtracting a positive six is the same as adding negative six. So again, if it's helpful, we could rewrite negative eight minus six as negative eight plus negative six. And then we could follow the rules for adding integers, or just think of it in terms of money. If a negative number represents a loss, if we lose eight dollars and then lose six dollars, we have a total loss of fourteen dollars, so the sum is negative fourteen. Or more formally, the rule is if we add integers with the same sign, we add their absolute values and keep the original sign. So eight plus six is fourteen, but because they're both negative, the sum would be negative. So now we can rewrite the given expression as thirteen plus two times negative fourteen. Now notice that we have addition and multiplication, but again, following the order of operations, we need to multiply before we add. So the next step is going to be to determine this product here. So we have a positive times a negative, and the rule is a positive times a negative is always negative. So positive two times negative fourteen is equal to negative twenty-eight. So we have thirteen plus negative twenty-eight. And of course the last step is to perform this addition, but now we're adding integers with different signs. And again, if we think of this logically, thirteen plus negative twenty-eight, we should recognize the result is going to be negative because the negative twenty-eight is going to outweigh the positive thirteen. So this will be negative. And then because these integers have different signs, we're supposed to subtract their absolute values. And we always subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. So negative twenty-eight is going to have the larger absolute value, and that's the reason why the sum is going to be negative. The absolute value of negative twenty-eight is twenty-eight, and the absolute value of thirteen, of course, is just thirteen. So we subtract. So this gives us fifteen, but again, we already recognized that this sum had to be negative, so this simplifies to negative fifteen. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.